Hey guys, it's Kate. Today, and when I mean today, I mean literally maybe 20 minutes ago, my ColourPop Frozen collection arrived and I am freaking out. <laughs> Excuse me. I stopped watching 10 Things I Hate About You for the fifth time on Disney Plus and threw on some Arendelle Aqua ears and ran up here to film this video for you guys. If you do hear rustling around, I do have my pup bears up here with me because I am home by myself right now. Mom and husband are at work. They should be back anytime. Um, but until then, I'm on pup watch and duty. But I have to break into this with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover up my address. Here is the box, really nothing too exciting on the front. I do appreciate that they do have a fragile sticker on it though, so hopefully it didn't get too jostled around in the shipping truck. Um, right when you open up the inside of the box, you just see brown packing paper. Again, nothing too thrilling. So I'm gonna go ahead and unravel it. Underneath the brown packing paper we have bubble wrap. Oh my gosh. And underneath the bubble wrap, this is what our collection looks like. Oh, that's so loud. I'm so sorry. There we go. Hopefully you can see. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and read the card on the top. And it says ColourPop. Thankful for you. Pretty self-explanatory. Nothing too much there. You can check out their Instagram at ColourPop Cosmetics. Their Twitter at ColourPop Co. Facebook forward slash ColourPop Cosmetics. And YouTube ColourPop Cosmetics. So very cool. They have lots of social media, which is great if you're wanting to look at tutorials for this collection. Also inside there is the ColourPop packing slip. So again, I'm going to cover up my address, but this just gives information on my order. I did purchase both the Elsa and the Anna full collection, so it was around $80. But I have recently, just as I, um, I guess I'm getting older and more mature, I am enjoying playing with makeup. Still do not wear it every day, clearly. I am very much um, just kind of a fresh face, natural face girl, but it is fun for me to play with it for when I'm going to the parks to get pictures done, that kind of a thing. So I could not say no. Oh my gosh, look at this packaging. Let me take it, <coughs> excuse me, out of the paper wrapper. So here is the box itself. This is for the Elsa collection. I don't know how well it's coming across on camera, all of the glitter around the box itself. And then on the back, it shows you what comes in the set, which is a glitter gel, a lipstick, I believe. What is that? Yes, a luxe stick, excuse me. Um, a luxe stick, the eyeshadow palette, and then a lip gloss. You've got a beautiful ribbon here, kind of tying everything together. And then on the inside, you have a beautiful snowflake right on top, and then the collection itself inside. I am so excited. Let's go ahead and delve deeper into these. And then I am going to do like a first impressions with the makeup but I will take you guys into the bathroom for that because I don't have the setup to be able to look in my closet mirrors here and have you see that. Um, so that next part will be in the bathroom. Um, here is the Dark Sea Glitter Gel. Now I have actually watched a couple of videos myself and I have seen from YouTubers that this is not an eyeshadow gel. This is very much a like body glitter gel. Um, it can be put I'm seeing a lot of um, Instagram influencers or social media influencers use it as a highlight here on the cheeks, uh, but definitely don't recommend putting it on the eyes from what I am hearing. So we've got a little um, clear lid here to protect it. So when you open it, you don't just have glitter coming out everywhere. It is very chunky, so that's going to be really fun to play with. Super excited about that. Ooh, nice and creamy. 
I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a swatch like a true beauty guru. Oh, look at me. Um, I'm kind of afraid to though because then when I do the eyeshadow, it might get messy. So let me do the eyeshadow first and then I'll do the glitter. That might be better. Let's have an order for this here. All right, then moving on to the Luxe stick. Oh my gosh, this packaging is stunning. Here is the lipstick itself. The tube has snowflakes all around it. And this is in the color Little Snow, and it is a cream-based stick, which I appreciate. I personally do not like matte lipsticks. My lips are very dry naturally, so I do not need a drying formula on my dry lips. This is beautiful. Beautiful berry color, perfect for the holiday season that is upon us. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And that went on so smoothly. Ooh, I'm so excited to use that. Okay, next we've got the um, lip gloss and this is in the shade Journey. So again, it is a beautiful package clear tube with snowflakes around and then the top is that same metallic blue that matches the luxe stick packaging this just looks like it would be a beautiful topper it's kind of has a little paint brush applicator instead of the traditional doe foot applicator and yeah very much just a very glittery top coat so this is going to be beautiful on top of any lipstick not just the one that the collection comes with very very sparkly Super excited about that, but I think probably what I'm most excited for, honestly, is the eyeshadow palette. So let's just go ahead and jump into that. First off, looking at the packaging on the outside, you have the beautiful illustration of Elsa that does match the illustration on the box. And then on the back, you have all of the colors for the collection. So we've got Cuddle Close, Fire, Northern Lights, um, oh, Gale, that's the wind spirit. Flurry, water, awakened, ice crystals, and hmm. The font that they use to identify these is a little difficult to read. I don't know what that bottom one says, so you guys will have to let me know down below if you can read that. What I also appreciate on the back is we have that little bunny icon, which means these products are cruelty free. So they are not tested on animals, which is amazing. Let's open it up. So you've got the mirror inside, which is really nice. I'm sure you can see my camera now. <laughs> um, and then this is the colors. So again, you've got Cuddle Close. The top middle is Fire, Northern Lights, Gale, Flurry, water, awakened, ice crystals, and then I just, I cannot what, read what that one says. I think it maybe is spine drift. That can't be right. You guys will have to let me know down below. But oh my gosh, they're beautiful. And this flurry color especially um, is chunky, just like the body glitter, like this one here. So... I'm very, very excited to play with those. Let me go ahead and get out the Anna collection because I am very excited about that as well. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to keep the boxes for both of these collections because I am a sucker for packaging and I feel like it definitely adds a luxe feel to the collection that they come packaged in this beautiful collector's box, so I will be keeping those. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, on to Anna. Again, let me take it out of the wrapping because that is not fun to listen to. Here is the Anna collection from the front. Again, this also comes with a glitter gel, a luxe stick, a pressed powder palette, and the ultra glossy lip. You can see all of those are on the back for you. And then also tied with a beautiful purple ribbon so you can keep everything together. Once you open it up, you do have Anna's signature. It's almost kind of like a lotus kind of um, design to me. And then the collection on the inside, and we're going to take a closer look at those. 
So just like we did with Elsa, we'll start off with the glitter. This time it is gold. It is a chunky gold. This one is in the shade Waterfall. We've got that beautiful metallic purple. And then you can see how chunky gold it is. Really, really fun. I can tell that this will be really fun to do as a highlight or um, I'm seeing a lot of people maybe even do it like little bits on their hair or on their part. So that's really fun. Moving on to the lipstick. These, these are very snug in the packaging, so I'm trying not to yank it out. <laughs> Here is the lipstick, beautiful metallic purple packaging, just like Elsa has the beautiful metallic blue. This one is in the shade Going North. Again, this is a cream-based lipstick, which I very much appreciate. This one I would say um, Elsa's is more berry tone, where this one is more of a terracotta color, kind of brown. Um, so I'm going to put it actually right next to Elsa's so you can kind of see the difference there. So Elsa's is this first one and Anna's is the second one. Definitely more berry in tone as I said with Elsa where Anna's is more fall inspired, definitely brown undertones. Um, I mean both are just stunning. And then you have the lip gloss. So again, clear tube, which is really nice because you can see the color itself, but it does have that metallic purple lid to match the collection. And then this is in the color Free Spirit. Again, I'm going to put it right next to the Elsa one. It does have that kind of paintbrush applicator. Um, what I will say is it's not a very soft applicator. I don't know if it needs, it probably just needs to loosen up. There we go. Because I was like, oh, that's a little hard. It is very clear, very sheer, um, so if you are wanting just to do a lipstick color on its own, you would need to layer up a little bit. So there is Elsa's, that beautiful shimmery icy glitter, and then Anna's, again, that beautiful autumnal kind of nudie color. Oof, so pretty. Um, and then the last thing is the eyeshadow palette. So for the Anna's, we have Scoochin, Wind, Earth. Ah, this font is very difficult to read. Adventure, Arendelle, Autumn Breeze, Warm Hugs, Fearless, and Charades, which is super cute. That was actually one of my favorite scenes from the movie is when Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven were playing charades. If you guys have seen Frozen 2, please leave your spoiler-free comments down below. I would love to chat about it. I am just not over it yet. Um, there is the inside the mirror and then all of the colors themselves. So again, Scoochin, Wind, Earth, Adventure, Arendelle, Autumn Breeze, Warm Hugs, Fearless, and Charades. Stunning. Okay, I am super excited to get into this palette. Um, not just this one, both of them specifically. And like I said, I think what I'm going to do is reposition my camera. So I'm going to either take you guys in the bathroom with me or I'm going to see if I can try to do it here. Um, I'm going to play around with the repositioning a little bit. And we're going to have a very amateur first try on the Frozen collection from ColourPop. I am, goodness knows, in no way a beauty guru. Um, I definitely just do this for fun, so hopefully my amateur opinion will give you some insight on this collection, but let's just go ahead. I'm so excited. All right, I'm pretty proud of my crafty setup. All I did was I actually just turned the camera around and have it face to the mirror so I can sit in front of the mirror, and hopefully you guys are getting the reflection back because um, I just couldn't see the mirror from where I normally sit right in front of my bed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just taking off the lipstick and lip gloss from the top of my hand. And now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the makeup. So I did watch a tutorial, actually several tutorials, and one of them that I will link down below because I found it not only very helpful, but just a really fun idea to show both collections was she, the YouTuber, who created the tutorial, did one eye with the Elsa palette and one eye with the Anna palette. And I think that that was brilliant. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully um, that way it allows me to kind of play with all of the colors. 
So I'm super excited to try that. So I'm just taking out the Anna palette, the Elsa palette. This isn't Anna. Guys, this is why I am not a beauty guru, because I can't tell my Disney princesses apart, which is embarrassing. Um, and I think what I'm going to actually do first, just for an all-over color, is I'm going to use probably Fire. It's a pretty neutral kind of mauve color, this one right here. And then that way I can ooh, take a little plastic piece off, um, just have a nice base all over my lid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, and as I mentioned before, if you guys have seen Frozen 2 already, please leave your comments. Leave it as spoiler free as possible down in the comments below because I am just never letting it go. I actually think that I liked it more than the first one, which is so rare for, I think, in general, anybody to like a sequel more than the original, but I just really appreciated the backstory that we got regarding Elsa. Um, I, st I really appreciated that it's still really focused on Anna and Elsa's relationship with each other, their sisterhood, and um, of course there was Kristoff and Anna development, which I loved. Um, that is a beautiful color. <laughs> Even just an all-over color. All right, I'm done. That was it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. <laughs> um, no, but I did. I really just appreciated the that the heart stayed true to... Um, the st central storyline, which what which is Anna and Elsa's sisterhood. Um, and then you did get that further information. Okay, so because I'm definitely not doing an everyday look, um, I wouldn't wear some of these colors every day as a teacher to school. I'm going to try some of these darker purples just because I want to have a little fun. Um, so I'm going to go in first with the Awakened, which has a bit of a silver shimmer. I'm really hoping you guys can see. I thought I was so crafty with this placement, but hopefully it's not backfiring on me and you can't see anything I'm doing. Um, and I'm just kind of working it into the outer part of my eyelid. Again, I am not a beauty guru, but I've watched enough makeup tutorials that hopefully I can kind of pretend I know what I'm doing. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pretend. Um, another thing I really appreciated about the sequel, again, not trying to spoil, but if you've listened to the soundtrack at this point, you probably are already aware, um, Kristoff does have his own song that's not just a silly Reindeers Are Better Than People song. And I love that because I love Jonathan Groff. Um, I've loved him since Glee. I know him and Leah Michelle, who played Rachel Berry on Glee, um, are actually best friends in real life and met on Broadway. So that, um, not so that. They met on Broadway, our best friends. She had, I'm sure, some help in getting him onto Glee. But then I loved seeing them together in Glee. Um, I think he has an amazing voice, so I just appreciate that they showcase that side of him a little more. Like I said, not just a silly reindeer song. Um, so I loved that. Also, of course, loved Olaf. I know Olaf is a fan favorite. He was a little more silly. Um, I definitely think they pulled him as the comic relief, because he is, was maybe a little more silly than he was in the first one. But... How can you not love Olaf? Okay, so I think I've got kind of the outer piece how I like it. Um, maybe just do a little bit more. I feel like all makeup is is just blending. You just kind of blend the colors until you're happy with the shade. And I'm just using windshield wiper motions in my crease and then really packing it heavy on the outer corner of my lid. I'm um, kind of leaving the center and inner part of my eyelid blank because I do want to put some lighter colors in there. Probably the flurry if I can get that glitter on there. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in a little bit more 
with the fur that I used all over as a base just to blend out the top a little bit more. Um, so as I said, it's a little more blended, not such a harsh line of the two colors. Okay, that's probably good. Um, you have to be careful with this purple color because it can look like you've got a bruised eye. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna use this pointy one. Also, I'm sure I have terrible brushes. <laughs> I don't have like Mac professional brushes or anything. I've just got, I mean, this one's cargo. So I think that that came off of an eyeshadow palette I had and I just kept the brush. Um, but I'm also, I also don't have professional tools. So we are working with what we have. I'm just smearing the awakened color that I used on the outer portion of my lid down along the bottom lash line. Love that purple color. Gosh, it's really pretty. Honestly, if I came to work like this, my students would be like, Miss Torres, what's on your face? Because I do not wear makeup every day. Hardly ever. I think they've seen me wear makeup once on picture day. No, I think I probably put on a little makeup for Halloween too. Okay, loving that. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do really with the eyeshadow, I would love to do a whole nother look with this blue. Um, but the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the flurry, this flurry color right here. Oh, it's like jelly. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, hmm. It's very flaky. Oh my God, it's so pretty, but very flaky. I got like flakes all over my bottom now. You just gotta be careful with this one. I can hear my puppy moving around. That is making me nervous. I'm hoping he stays asleep. Okay. Oh, it's really pretty. I have a feeling, I mean, it, it is definitely not easy to work with as easy as the other colors. Ooh, but it's pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So cool. Aw, I like this one. It makes me think of Olaf, though. Again, I don't want to give spoilers. You guys have to see it and leave your comments <coughs> down below so we can talk about it. But Flurry's played a big part for Olaf in this movie. Okay. I'm going to stop there before I get glitter all over the rest of my face. The last thing I'm going to do for my eyes is use the Cuddle Close color just to put some on the upper part of my lid. Underneath the brow bone to give myself a little bit of highlight. Because I feel like this is a very deep purpley look and I don't want to overwhelm those parts that could use a little bit of a highlight. Tone it down a little. Okay, that's super fun. Like I said, I think I probably would be a little more careful with the purple because it can look like you've got a bruised eye, like a black eye. But I think once I get mascara on this, it's going to be a little more cohesive. Um, I'm going to do that though off camera because you all don't need to see me sitting here for 20 minutes with my mouth open trying to put on mascara. Uh, the last thing I am going to use from this collection, however, is this glitter. I'm going to try to put some around here just to finish the glitter look. And then I'm going to go to the other eye. So using the Dark Sea Glitter from the Elsa collection. Woo, it's very jelly. Oh, oh, I love it. Okay, but like, I'm not mad at all. Stop it. And a little goes a long way. I really wouldn't do much more than this. <gasps> I feel like Elsa. <laughs> Guys, I feel like Elsa. Stop! I need to do, keep this makeup on and go meet her in um, Epcot. 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna bust out the Ana palette and do the other eye using the Ana palette just to give myself some fun playing with both. And then I'm gonna have to decide which lip color I want because I don't know if I can do half my lips in one and half in the other. So we'll have to see which color um, is better for both. But this is the um, Elsa Eye Done. I'm so excited. I really, really like it. It's really pretty. All right, we're moving into the Anna palette. Um, taking a closer look, or not a closer look, but a secondary look at the Anna palette. It is also very purple heavy. So I was thinking I probably should have gone more blue with Elsa instead of the purple, even though purple is also very much her color scheme in the second movie. Um, so because of that, instead of the, ooh, whoa, shook the camera, sorry. Um, so because of that, instead of doing purple for Anna, I'm actually gonna do more of the earth tones. Um, which is also fitting for her in the second movie. They definitely played on fall and did a lot of the autumnal colors, those rich browns and golds and things like that. So I'm going to play on that for the Anna side. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and start with probably um, Wind. I feel like that's a beautiful honey kind of terracotta color. And it will be a good base all over my lid. Um, what I will say, again, as somebody who, like, does not know what they're doing, is not a professional makeup guru, the colors are very pigmented. I am just using the smallest brush filled with the color, and it is sticking to my lid very nicely. I'm not really feeling like I'm getting a lot of fallout or that I'm having to do a lot of layering, um, which is really good because, again, as someone who doesn't know what they're doing, I don't want to feel like I have to struggle to put the makeup on. The only one that I would say maybe had, I mean, definitely had the fallout was the glitter in the Elsa palette, and I'm sure it will be the same for the glitter in the Honor palette. Glitter in the Anna palette. <laughs> How's a tongue twister? Um, but I feel like that's very much expected for a glitter. I just think that's kind of the nature of glitter is it can be very messy. Okay, so moving out of the wind color, now I'm going to take a little bit of the charades, which is a really pretty kind of cocoa color. And I'm going to work that into the inner corner, not inner, I apologize, outer corner and windshield wiper motion. Motion. I just said, oh, I said a bad word and I didn't mean to. Windshield wiper motion into the crease of my eyelid. Again, a little bit goes a long way. Um, I'm noticing I'm, I'm not having to put too much effort into getting this color on there. It is just gliding on, which I very much appreciate. This is so pretty. Okay. Um, so for the Anna side, I want to talk a little bit about the songs. Specifically, what was your guys' favorite song from the movie? Um, I feel like, obviously, Into the Unknown is definitely the sequels version of Let It Go, kind of the power ballad of the movie. I'm just taking wind again and going up a little bit more and blending out the line. Um, Show Yourself was also phenomenal. Again, I really appreciated Kristoff's song. I like that they gave Jonathan Groff some time to shine with something a little more serious than Reindeers Are Better Than People, which was super cute in the first one, but um, it's nice for him to have a real, you know, a real song. Um, trying to think. Yeah, I definitely think probably Into the Unknown was my favorite. And the Panic version, Panic at the Disco did a rendition for the movie. And Brendan Yuri Man has a phenomenal voice. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know music language. But is it an alto when you have a higher voice? Or is that a soprano? Anyway, he has a very high voice. <laughs> but uh, it sounds amazing. I thought he did a phenomenal job. And it's fun to have different versions of the songs. I mean, of course, Idina Menzel is... To, to me, she is, like, the best voice. I've loved her since Wicked. Um, I mean, you just cannot compare anyone to Idina Menzel. But... As far as remakes are concerned, I think Brendan Neary did an amazing job. Um, 
Okay, very fall colors, really like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the Elsa side. I'm gonna go ahead and use the glitter, which is called Arendelle, and I'm gonna tap that onto the inner and center of my lid. This one is not as jelly as the Elsa one is, so that definitely makes getting it on the brush and putting it on my eye a little bit easier. These colors, man. I'm definitely dabbing it too on my brush because um, I'm thinking the tapping motion is helping. Maybe that's in my head. But we're going to go with it. We're going to pretend I know what I'm doing. Okay. Love that. Um, I did get it up higher than I wanted, so maybe I can try to sweep some of that away. Get off of there. It's glitter that might not come down. Can you get off? Oh, yeah, there we go. It's like I know what I'm doing. Oh, I love that. All right, and then the very last thing for the eyes, like I said, I'm going to do um, same thing I did with the Elsa. I'm going to go ahead and use the glitter to kind of create that highlight on the other side of my cheekbone. And then I'm gonna have to establish what I want to do for the lips. If I want the darker color from the Anna, excuse me, the Elsa palette, the more berry tone, or if I want to use the more kind of terracotta tone, more fall autumnal tone. Ooh, this is a big clump. Okay, um, on this side is a little more clumpy than Elsa's. I don't know if it's the mixture, probably just me. But I feel like the glitter is more like clumping and concentrating rather than just kind of falling all over your face like the Elsa side did. Maybe I just got too much on my finger, probably that. Oh my gosh, it's still beautiful though. Okay. So all done with the glitter, all done with my eyes. Definitely need to figure out what I wanna do for the lips. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Elsa because I feel like purple, that berry color will look good both with her purple shadow as well as the more autumnal. I guess I like that word. I just keep saying it over and over. Autumnal um, color palette that I did for Anna. So let me go ahead and get out the Elsa lipstick. I did put on some chapstick. I always put on chapstick while I'm doing my makeup. I have such dry lips naturally, so I feel like it just gives them some moisturization while I'm playing with my makeup. Um, oh man, it's going on like butter. Butter. Oh, it smells really good. I don't know what that, it's like a, I don't know what that smells like, but it smells good. Mm-hmm. Now I'm afraid to use the, the um, lip gloss because I'm afraid that the wand is going to get gross. So I feel like what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a whole bunch of it on my hand and then use my finger to put it on. So my wand doesn't get gross. I'd rather my finger get gross because I can just wipe it off. You know? Oh yeah. Ooh. That's so pretty. Oh yeah. Ooh, that wand would have gotten nasty. Okay. So that's my finished look. Um not finished. I'm actually gonna put on mascara. Um, but finished for now, I'm going to go put on mascara and then go in the bathroom so you guys can see this in different lighting, just not my bedroom lighting. Um, and then we're going to be done. This is really fun. I thoroughly enjoy playing with it. Um, and I can't wait to play with it some more, make some different looks. So let me go put on mascara and I'll be right back. My stomach just rumbled. <laughs> um, I will say, I think I put the lipstick on a little too close to the inner part of my lips because it's transferring on my teeth a little that that should be an easy fix. Um, overall, I do have mascara on. I shaped up my brows a little bit more. So the 
I, this would be done. This would be me out the door. Um, what I would say is I would go a little less heavy on the glitter, uh, especially for the Anna side. It's a little chunkier than the glitter for the Elsa side. The Elsa has, I think, maybe smaller pieces, um, so it definitely looks more like frozen fractals, whereas Anna's is thicker pieces, maybe for the fall leaves. I don't know. I'm totally making that up as I go, but it is definitely chunkier, so go a little lighter on that, in my opinion. Um, then same goes for the Elsa glitter eyeshadow. The Elsa glitter eyeshadow was chunkier than the Anna glitter eyeshadow. So with the Elsa, I definitely had more fallout as I was putting it on than I did with the Anna side. Um, both are stunning. I cannot wait to play more with the collection, especially with the blues and the Elsa palette and the purples and the Anna palette to see how they compare. But I'm going to take you guys into my bathroom now so you can see this makeup in bathroom lighting because this is just my natural bedroom light um, with the windows open and the bedroom light on. The refraction, though, on these glitters is stunning. Um, as I'm kind of moving my head, you can really see it. Love the lip color. Um, I honestly just love everything about this palette. I'm very, very happy with it. Let me take you into the bathroom and let you get a look in the bathroom lighting. My bathroom. <laughs> so this is the bathroom lighting. Um, you can kind of see, hopefully, gives you an idea. Um, I love it. I'm so excited that I did end up purchasing it and that I'm going to play with it a little bit more um, and that I'm going to hopefully meet Anna and Elsa in their new costumes in the Epcot Pavilion and I'll definitely wear some of this makeup so be on the lookout for a vlog on that um, and always if you're not following me on Instagram that's a really good way to kind of follow along um, with my Disney adventures on a day-to-day -day basis where YouTube, it takes me a little bit longer to film, edit, and upload it in my Monday, Wednesday, Friday order. So if you want things that are more immediate, check my Instagram, same as my YouTube, Fairy Tales and Fitness. Um, but I am just, I couldn't be happier. Thank you guys so much for coming on this makeup, playing with makeup journey with me. As I said, I know I know I'm not a beauty guru, but I'm hoping that my amateur opinion does help some of us who are beauty amateurs. Um, if I can do it, you can do it for sure. It's just fun. Makeup is fun. So um, if you guys did enjoy this collection like I did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!